you guys, it is Wednesday and that calls for a new copycat recipe. This copycat recipe that we are making today, as you guys could see, it is Annie Ann's pretzels. I don't know if you guys have an Annie Ann's near you, but we have one and it is so good. I love their pretzels there. And I've been wanting to try this recipe for the longest time now, but I just haven't been able to get around to do it. But today is the day that I did it. I'm so excited to share this with you, and if you are new here, I'd love to have you over at my channel. I post one of these copycat recipes every single Wednesday, so go ahead and subscribe down below the video, but let's get cooking. To get this recipe started, I'm just pouring my two cups of warm milk into my large mixing bowl right here, followed by my tablespoon and a half of active dry yeast. It is just about two packets if you're using the packets. And then I'm just going to stir this around and let it sit for about five minutes to activate that yeast. Now that our yeast is activated, you're going to be pouring in about four tablespoons of melted butter to that mix along with your flour. So you're going to be putting in about four and a half to five cups of flour altogether, but I just added that in gradually. You're also going to be adding in two teaspoons of fine salt at this point along with about six tablespoons of brown sugar. And you're just going to mix this all together and let it knead for about 10 minutes. I did want to let you guys know really quickly, I only added four and a half cups of flour and you'll see in a minute it is a little bit sticky. Next time if I do make this again, I would add that extra half cup of flour to make it five cups of flour just so it is a little bit less sticky, but it still turned out fine. I just placed this towel right on top of it and put it in a warm place to rise for about an hour. Once our dough has doubled in size, we're going to start on our water baking soda mixture and all that is is three cups of warm water along with a third a cup of baking soda whisked together. This is the mixture you're going to dip your pretzels in before they hit the oven. Onto my floured surface, I just rolled these into about 12 different balls and then I rolled these into pretzel shapes and then you're going to dip it into that baking soda and water mixture and then put it on a greased cookie sheet. Here these are out of the oven. I just brushed them with a little bit of some melted butter and then I crushed some coarse salt on them. You could also put cinnamon sugar if that's what you guys prefer. These turned out so, so good and honestly, I don't think I could find a better recipe that tastes more like Annie Ann's pretzels. I really do recommend this one if you are wanting some good pretzels. And that wraps up today's coffee cat recipe. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And if you do struggle with finding that recipe, link down below in my description box. Let me know in the comments and I will send that recipe to you directly. I hope you guys all enjoy this recipe. And if you are new here, I'd love to have you over at my channel. So go ahead and subscribe down below the video, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.